It's 9.20 a.m. I was supposed to leave at 7.50 a.m. Flight got delayed, I don't know why, I think it got stuck in Buffalo. It got delayed till 9.30, and then I woke up for my nap. It got delayed till 2 p.m. So I ended up looking for a different flight. I found one for 11.30. As you can see, it's snowing out. So I don't know how that's gonna work. It's probably gonna be delayed too. I'll see you guys in a little bit, we're gonna grab a coffee. Ooh. All right, I took the guy. Three tries to make this. We usually get it with no water. I saw him put water in it twice. So we had to go get more cold brew to make my drink. You pay five bucks for a drink, you expect them to make it right. I had to tell him I didn't want it. I wanted another one. Call me bougie, but you know, I pay the money, I'm gonna get what I pay for. What's up guys? We are finally in Jacksonville. It's 4.51 p.m. I was supposed to be here at 10.57 a.m. this morning. So what happened was uh, the flight or the airplane was supposed to leave Buffalo this morning, but it ended up getting stuck. I guess there was some maintenance issues. So thankfully we didn't get that plane, um, but I ended up like passing out in the crew lounge, waking up at nine, seeing that the flight was delayed till 2 p.m. So I ended up booking another flight, but it wasn't a drug flight. So I had to do a connected flight from Boston to DC, to from DC all the way to Jacksonville. It's been a long day of traveling because I started my morning at 4 a.m. and now I'm finally in Jacksonville. It's 4.52, I got a new car. This car has 142 miles on it. Super nice, super clean, so I'm super stoked. It only cost me $105 for the 10th to the 13th, which is pretty dope. So what I got planned this trip is I'm doing a B-roll video shoot for a mosquito company. I guess my name is Mosquito Joe. I'm gonna try to get some behind the scenes footage of that, and uh, I'm gonna hit the gym tonight, so I'll see you all in a little bit once I get to my buddy's house. right now I'm currently editing a video I ended up going to get some groceries cook some food I'm crashing obviously on my buddy's couch but yeah I'm, I'm here by myself he's with his girlfriend or fiance now Ooh. his brother's not here and then his other roommate Trevor's not here either um, I ended up just going and meeting him and his fiance at this place called the lemon bar if you guys have ever been in Jacksonville it's a really nice like outdoor bar right on the beach obviously I didn't drink I haven't drank since January and I didn't eat any crappy food I weighed in at 185 today, so my cut has been going really good. I'm gonna post an update picture in this video, and if you saw my last video, you saw my body fat percentage. I started like 4% higher than that, so in five weeks, I was able to shave off 4% body fat, so it was really good. I'm exhausted. Like, I've been going since 4 a.m. today with like periodic sleep here and there. I'm gonna edit this video and hopefully be in bed in the next hour. I want to get up at like 6 30. See you guys in the morning. Day two. Woo! What's up, guys? Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Jacksonville. It's nine o'clock. I ended up getting up at seven. I'm drinking some pre workout right now. I'm about to head to the gym. I guess one of the coolest perks talk about this a lot but if you're new to the channel coolest perks I think personally besides the free flight benefits is the fact that they give you this opportunity to sign up for a membership with the company it's called active and fit where you pay $25 a month to have access to over 9,000 different gyms around the country and all you do is you just go to the gym you sign a quick form and they'll give you a pass and you could use that pass anywhere in the country which is pretty 
freaking dope. But just sipping on some Megawatt and Alpha Cree HD. This is probably one of the best stimulant pre-workouts I've had. It doesn't give you like too much jitters. I don't really like those pre-workouts that like make you like super jittery and like shaky. This is like just enough for like focus and then gives you the pumps. And then it's got some creatine in it, which if you all know about creatine, creatine is the best supplement and one of the most reviewed supplements that you can incorporate into your workout routine. I'm gonna go pick up some pants for this Mosquito Joe video B-roll thing so <laughs> I'm really curious to see like what this is all about it's pretty good pay so I'm not complaining and um, it's from 12 to 5 today and then 9 to 5 tomorrow hopefully it doesn't last too long because it looks like it's gonna be a really nice day out so I kind of want to like I might hit the gym and then go get some Sun for a little bit and grab a coffee at Southern Grounds so if you didn't know we we're supposed to Shanley and I were supposed to go to our first date spot when we were here in Jacksonville um, a couple days ago but we ended up not going to the beach because it was kind of windy. If at all possible, I'm gonna go to our date spot today and grab a coffee. It's a super sweet place called Southern Grounds in Jacksonville. I think it's on like Atlantic and Neptune Beach. What we did was for our first date, we went to Southern Grounds and we got a bottle of wine and we just hung out and talked. And it was pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. See you guys in a bit. Let's go to the gym. We're going to LA Fitness. It's like right by the beach, so peace. What's up guys? I didn't record at the gym because my coach told me I should start focusing more on making sure I get proper lifts in. Um, I rushed to Walmart to get these pants. So like when I'm, I'm wearing like these crazy, I call them like old man pants. And then I'm wearing my like military boots. So I'm gonna show you guys here in a second when we get out of the car. I was rushing because I thought it was gonna be late. It's 11.48 now. I'm gonna go in there when I'm done eating my oatmeal. I thought it was gonna be that late so I brought my oatmeal with me. And funny thing is, it's .5 miles from my buddy's house. So I was thinking it was gonna be like a 10, 15 minute ride. It's like a two minute ride. Mosquito Joe. Call me Mosquito Joe for now. You guys can see these, but look at these pants. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Car. Thank you. I appreciate you coming by. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tag on. Strong Let's get the logo on there. Yeah, exactly. Come on, always be branding. Mosquito Joe. Mosquito Buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, That's what that is. Is that Billy Rose? shooting the footage from 12 to 3.30. Um, tomorrow we're gonna be going to, I think, St. Augustine. So I'll be in St. Augustine tomorrow from, uh, I have to leave at eight. And then I think we shoot from nine till five is what's scheduled. Hopefully we get out early tomorrow because I wanna come and enjoy the beach again. But I'm not doing this Wednesday. But they're, they are shooting again Wednesday with um, the other guy that I was shooting with, Omar. So I was like, hey, if you guys want, if you need another person, I'll be here to shoot. Um, the extra money will be nice. And uh, I think they said they're doing something Thursday, but I'm not gonna be here. I think I'm leaving Wednesday night. But worst case, if I have to, I'll stay here until Thursday and uh, make some more money. Why not? But right now, as you can tell, uh, we got goals to accomplish. Now we're just going to the beach. And uh, actually, this place, Mini Bar Donuts here in Jacksonville, if you guys haven't been, and you want mini delicious donuts, I would check them out. And they also have some really good nitro brew. So what I'm gonna do is hit the beach. I'm probably gonna grab a coffee and then go to the beach. I really like selling grounds. They have some really good cold brew with a uh, toffee nut. So see you in a little bit. No video in it.
Guys, we got some sun, a little bit of sun, not as much sun as I wanted to get, but it started getting chilly. It went from 80 to 71. So it's six o'clock now. Uh, I'm gonna head home, probably gonna eat another meal, and then probably get a second workout in today because tomorrow morning I wanna get up and go for a run, catch the sunrise. One of my favorite things to do when I lived here in Jack's Beach was to go to the, the beach and to catch the sunrise. There's nothing like going for a nice run, like that euphoric feeling of the sun rising. It's just a good feeling, good feeling. So I'm gonna call Shane Lee now, head back to the house about like 10 minutes away, not too bad. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right guys, round two at the gym. We are back at LA Fitness, check it out. That's the cool thing about Jacksonville. So there is literally a gym probably like on every corner of every street. Same with like stores, restaurants groceries it's just insane like it's so convenient to live here and it's all like on a grid so it's like a highway set up whereas like massachusetts it's like windy roads back roads it's just like that i miss jacksville i don't know if you guys can tell 20 minutes on the elliptical and then i'm doing 15 minutes on the stairmaster so let's knock this out go back go to bed because i gotta get up at like seven to go meet for this uh model and thingy Peace. Day three. And if anything, we can try to get to Houses are amazing. It is and nice. Today's Wednesday the 13th. Yesterday I did some shooting with Mosquito Joe. Started at 8 a.m. basically, and then we got done at like 3.30 p.m. Uh, we ended up going to St. Augustine, which was pretty cool. Uh, had a really fun day with them. Uh, we shot a bunch of B-roll footage. They pulled out the drone. Um, I got to like work on their equipment. And uh, overall, it's been a really cool experience. And uh, basically what I'm like trying to show you guys uh, with this video is that as flight attendants, we tend to have side jobs, especially just starting out, like when you're kind of new in the industry, it's, you're not really getting paid the craziest amount of money, especially when you're on reserve. If you're on reserve, I um, highly suggest having like a side job or a side hobby that kind of makes you an extra source of income. And uh, this is basically what this is. So I kind of work with a modeling company. It's just a way for me to make an extra source of income. It's kind of an excuse for me to fly back down to Jacksonville to hang out with my friends. Car rental was cheap, it was like $100. And the pay is good, the pay is really good. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to specifically talk about the total pay, but if you were to think of it as in donuts, so say one donut equals $10 or $100 or $1,000, I made six donuts in two days. And then uh, they actually reached out to me today to ask if I want to come and shoot for another half day on Thursday, which is tomorrow. So I'm gonna extend my stay here in Jacksonville just in case I get that. And it was like an extra $40 to extend my car rental, which is not a big deal. I got a free gym, I got a free place to stay. Um, and I'll introduce you guys to my friends as well. Help my buddies, the one that makes music, he's here. And then there's a videographer, and then the other buddy of mine, he creates graphic design. So pretty cool little group of friends that I have. I'm all doing cool, unique stuff. I'll introduce you guys to them in a little bit. I've just been so busy this past week that I really haven't had time to just sit down and like hang out with them. So when we do hang out, it's kind of like, we just put our phones down and we just chill. Um, just like today we went to Maple Street. So if you guys are in the Jacksonville area, I think they have one at the beach and then they have one downtown in Jacksonville. They have the best breakfast and then they have like some delicious coffee as well. Check them out if you're in Jacksonville, um, but it's not super warm out today. It's like 71 degrees. It's gonna warm up a little more. So I'm at the gym now. I'm gonna knock out some, uh, today is back. And then I'm gonna do some cardio, pretty dope. Pretty dope, man. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the B-roll of the footage that I was able to shoot at the photo shoot. So this is basically what I'm gonna call this title, why flight attendants sh should have a side job or something like that, whatever. Anyways, see you guys in the gym. Peace.
All right, what's up guys? So this is my last night here in Jacksonville. Um, I actually ended up extending into another day because um, they asked me to do another shoot with them, so I'll be doing another Mosquito Joe thing tomorrow. But I wanna introduce you to my friends, because I do have friends. I know I didn't show you them at all this week. It's because I've been busy. Uh, they've been busy, but they're luckily allowing me to stay here. But I got my buddy L right here. I call him uh, DJ Silva, Mr. Uh, Snowcap. Let me get Ryan. What's up guys? All right, so Ryan is single and ready to mingle. And uh, so Silva right here, he is the one that I had featured on my song a few weeks ago. Uh, one of my videos he posted his new song, Comfort Zone, so check that out. And then you got a new one you're working on right now? I do. I do. With two. Troll. And where is he from? Australia. I have some subscribers from Australia, so maybe they know. Absolutely. I think, his name is, I think his name is Drew. So, I figured I'd introduce you to them. We're missing one, Trevor. He's not here. He's with his girlfriend, I think. Right? Girlfriend? I think it's his girlfriend. But he's out. He's doing his thing. Uh, Trevor does videography. He creates videos, short films. Al does music. And then Ryan is working on doing like album artwork with Photoshop. Pretty unique group of guys here. Um, Al said he's going to show you guys a sneak preview of his new song. Once he's done doing the dishes, we'll check it out. Gotta make sure you get my succulents in there. <laughs> so Al just bought these succulents. And uh, why'd you buy them Al? It's gonna increase the amount of oxygen in my room. So you're not breathing or something at night? What's going on, bad sleep? <laughs> yeah. So this is the where all the work happens. All the magic, music. Maybe they'll help with my creativity. It's like super clean. Well, that's that. And that is that. That's all you get to hear. It's a little sneak preview. When's that gonna be done? Like two months? <laughs> I don't know. So you get to see the song before it's even done. So I can't even link that one below. So I'll link his other one down below again if you haven't had a chance to check it out. Uh, it's called Comfort Zone. It's on Spotify, iTunes. It's on it all. It's on it all, man. Check it out. But yeah, so tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have to be at Mosquito Joe to shoot from 9 to 1. Um, I'm planning on going to meet my buddy Dylan at the gym at UNF. We're going to do a quick workout. And then I'm going to hit the airport. I'm going to drop the car off at 4.30. And then I got a 6.57 flight out. And then we go to Boston. Then I'm back to work on Saturday. I think I get a four-day trip. So I'm not too excited about that. So I got to like kind of like right when I get home, I got to go buy groceries and prep my food and pack everything up and wash everything again. The goal is tomorrow morning to go catch the sunrise for a sunrise run. Al, you wanna go? No. <laughs> he doesn't wanna have a romantic morning with me. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right guys, what's up? Good morning. Today is Thursday. It's the last day here in Jacksonville. Um, it's 8.50 right now. I've got um, until nine o'clock. And then from nine to one, like I said, we're gonna be doing uh, some shooting. Uh, we're gonna shoot some more B-roll for the company Mosquito Joe. Um, they wanted to see me in like a gray polo and then they have a set of black pants for me. Shoot, I gotta grab my boots, I don't have my boots. We gotta go back and get the boots. I'll be back. 2,000 years later. All right, what's up guys? Today's the last day of shooting. Uh, this is the team here, we got Meredith, then the rest of the crew is over there, the scoping out, like a spot. We're gonna be shooting some B-roll today. Basically what, family interaction? Family interaction. Family interaction. So we get to hang out with the kids, they're gonna be bringing the dog out. His name is Buddy, I used to have a dog named Buddy, so that's kinda cool as well. So we're gonna be shooting some B-roll, so I'll just be playing that right after this. See you in a bit.
pants. So I had to buy pants for this photo shoot or video shoot, I should say, for all the B-roll. And they're like $40. So, and they're not styled pants that I'd wear. So good thing was I didn't get them dirty, kept them clean, uh, made some money, an extra two and a half donuts. So like I said, if it was like 10 or $100 payment wise, um, I would make an extra two and a half donuts. In total, we made 10 donuts. 10 donuts on this trip, woo! Uh, but yeah, so I try to extend my rental on my car and they wanna charge $168. So I said no, I'm gonna bite the bullet, fly back, even though the weather is amazing, not worth that money. It is what it is. We're gonna go meet my buddy Dylan for some sushi, quick sushi, uh, and that's basically the first thing I've eaten all day today and it's like two o'clock, so I've been fasting kind of, but I've been limiting my carbs because I haven't been able to stick to my meal plan the past two days. Overall, uh, my abs are coming in, my body's feeling better, and things are going good. It just sucks that now I gotta, I was all pumped because I was gonna fly in tomorrow morning, go to the gym, but now I'm flying in tonight. I'll be in at like 10, 10 p.m. and nobody likes working out at 10 p.m. So I'll see you guys when we get sushi. We just got some sushi at Bento. My buddy Dylan, this kid got me into CrossFit a couple years ago. So when I get back to Jack's, we'll be doing a lot more CrossFit videos. But I just want to introduce you all to him. This sure is Dylan. Is. He's finishing up two master's degrees. It's yeah, pretty badass. Hard. Pretty badass. See you guys in Boston. All right, guys, we are in Boston right now. I just met a subscriber, Anita. I don't know if you're subscribed, are you? I am. You are? I got two <laughs> subscribers. So we got one right here, Patrick and Anita. Hello. And uh, yeah, pretty cool way to come on the plane, meet some new subscribers. These are baby blues. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So welcome them aboard. And uh, we're home now. We got work Saturday, so I'm not too excited. So, but I'll let you guys get to work. I'm gonna try my best to help out as much as I could. Appreciate it. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on a flight. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, you guys have a good night and have a safe flight. Good night. All right, guys, let's get the hell out of here. Um, it's always cool meeting subscribers and they're all usually baby blues because they're all watching like JetBlue videos and stuff so what we got planned is we're gonna go to the gym when we get home and then I'm packing and get ready for the trip this weekend I got one with Shanley it is 10 30 right now I just got home family is sleeping um, but I'm eating a nice little pre-workout meal I got six ounces of chicken right here I'm eating some sliced beets, and then I'm making up some espresso for some energy because I'm a little bit tired. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, my main reason why I made this video was to show you guys that you can also be a flight attendant and work other jobs. And I highly encourage you to find side hobbies or side jobs to keep you busy, um, an extra source of income, and all that good stuff. So, because I mean, I do the military online coaching. I try and do some modeling gigs when I can, and then I'm a flight attendant. So stay busy, stay happy, do the things that you love and enjoy, and you'll stay happy. Y'all have a good night, take care. See y'all in the next one.